really being said, let's go ahead and hop into it. Here we are on altitude LE, spawning in the bottom left hand position. Having an unfortunate series versus uh, City Mitch earlier, but looking for some uh, revenge. It is Dobro. Again, I love that icon. And spawning up here in the top right, it is going to be Sunset. While we let the uh, game start to warm up here, just a reminder to check out the Macharino link for this tournament. Help support, uh, help support Sniper. Get the uh, the prize pool a little bit higher. Another thank you to uh, Hot Headed Gaming. It's a uh, Ukrainian esports league. Uh, showing them some support would be much appreciated as well. It's been a rough year. For the Ukrainian people, helping them out in any way possible. It's always appreciated. Alright, so a pretty standard start out of both players. I feel like we're going to see a bit of a macro game come out. Nexus first, right in the Cyber Core. Nothing too aggressive coming out of the Zerg. Looks like these players are going to give each other a little bit of respect for this first game. Nothing too sinister coming out of the woodwork so far. Nothing too out of the ordinary so far. It's always nice sometimes. Like, sometimes you get these tournaments where uh, it's just like macro game after macro game after macro game. It can be a bit exhausting to cast, and then sometimes you have like cheese after cheese after cheese after cheese. Sometimes it's nice to kind of get this like mix of uh, just this mix of aggression and uh, standard macro play. Kind of a uh, breaks up the monotony a little bit. Is Dober or is a uh, Dober actually gonna get that? No. All right, we do have the Twilight on the way. Robo is now finishing up, finishing off the wall. That being said, this is a this is a fairly big map. It's kind of hard to really do anything super aggressive on it. Depth's poking around here a little bit, trying to make sure that there's nothing uh, nothing waiting to try to or to kind of pop through the wall while it's out and about scouting. A couple of circlings are going to be uh, scouting around a little bit. Now we do have a warp prism on the way. As well as charge. Two more gateways have come up. Oh, is this going to be six gate? Uh, we might be seeing a six gate build here. Four gates are being produced now. Oh, this actually might be eight gate. Okay. So this is going to be an all-in from our Protoss player. I mean, the Overlord's going to see all of this. So since that's going to have a bit of time to prepare. But the Super Chad move, though, <laughs> just to be to cancel all of the gateways and then go straight into, like, just go straight into macro. So full wall off at the front. Just to make sure that while he's out on the map, nothing uh, nothing can really get into without a little bit of work. Yeah. 
and it looks like we're about to go. Gates are finishing up, charge is finishing up. Now Sunset is aware of this. He has stopped droning, he's making lings, he's making roaches, doing all of his uh, due diligence to make sure that he doesn't die right off the bat. Uh, that being said, uh, this is going to get real interesting really fast. Um, there's a lot of creep here that uh, Dobro is going to have to cross across. Um, also, he's not really splitting up his units, so he's going to have to... Well, he could take a decent fight up the ramp. Oh, boy. The Immortals are actually being caught out of position. One of them is going to be taken down. The Zealots come back to try and reinforce. The Zealots actually are cleaning up rather well. But the Queens are actually standing tall. They're managing to get the Infuses off. Oh, another, uh, another wave of charge loss is going to come in. More Roaches are on the way. The Queens are running out of energy, unfortunately. So they're not going to be able to transfuse much more. One more transfuse. Let's go down. I think there's room for one more transfuse after that. Um, that being said, it looks like Dobro is kind of getting pushed back here a little bit. Um... Yeah, despite the Queens being out of energy, it looks like there's just enough Zerg here to actually deal with it. Uh, there's no sign of an expansion coming out of Dobro. Did actually, Sunset actually lose? Sunset did lose a, a chunk of workers there, but... I mean, just surviving this is going to be really good. Uh-oh. The Queens are not being pulled back. It looks like they're going to be caught out in the open. Roaches do come in to try and reinforce, and it looks like another queen is going to go down, so now the healing potential is way, 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 way down. But that being said, there's enough roaches here to actually clean it up. Oh. Almost got that warp prism. Killed it. Um, and with that being said, Sunset is going to take game number one. Really well done by Sunset. They're getting a full scout. And making sure that he doesn't just immediately die. Cutting drones, getting links and uh, roaches. Really well done. Right. With that being said, let's go ahead and hop into a game number two between these two. Once again, make sure to uh, check out that Macherino link in the chat. Help support uh, help support this tournament. All right, here we are on Neo Humanity, spawning in the top left hand position. It is going to be Dobro. And spawning in the bottom right hand side is going to be the Zerg player up one game. It is Sunset. Alright, looks like a fairly normal start out of both of our players once again. Going for that 16 hatch of Sunset. Hi, or a uh, gateway scout coming out of Dobro. I never know how to feel about this map. Um, like it does have some really nice. I, well, I, I shouldn't speak about it from a Terran perspective, but um, the thing that really bothers me the most, no matter what the matchup is, is just this uh, this little wall off here. Just grabbing a couple of minerals and uh, being able to kind of bust through that. It's got to be a super unfortunate for Protoss players who have to like wall the natural. I really haven't watched a ton of games on this map though, so I don't have a lot of room to speak. I don't know how often people are getting busted through this uh, through this mineral wall here. But it looks like neither player really is going to worry about it. That happens a lot. Ugh. Both players are kind of giving each other the same respect as before. Yeah, fairly standard match out of both of our players once again. I'm actually interested though, because again, I have not watched a lot of games 
on this map yet, but I imagine the proper way to play this as the Zerg is probably just to grab these and then take this as the third. No, nope, no. Nope. I was immediately proven incorrect, so I will <laughs> shut my mouth and will just commentate on what I know. Twilight opening coming out now for the Protoss player. Now, I doubt he's going to go for the same 8-gate push again. I guess he could. He absolutely could, but... Well, he's, there's no there's no Robo coming out yet, so I, I doubt it. I imagine he's probably going to go for an expansion here fairly soon. Nothing too aggressive coming out of the Zerg player. Oh, we actually have a Dark Shrine on the way. Oh, boy. Dark Shrine on the way, but no... We don't have a Robo for a, a Warp Prism. We don't have a Pylon out on the field. Oh, there we go. So imagine we're also going to get a couple more gateways. Getting this... Well, getting the gases? No? Okay. Actually, did Sunset see that? I think Sunset saw that. Yeah, it's, well, there's always the question of whether or not the player, like, actually clicked on it and verified what it was. Now, um, for those of you who don't know, the uh, the Dark Templar, when the, the Dark Shrine is being built, it kind of looks like a pylon, but the uh, health and shield information actually pops up a little bit higher than the pylon. So usually it's kind of easy to tell if you're paying attention. And that being said, these players are... I believe in the 4K plus range, so they, uh, they they know their stuff. They know their stuff. Sunset, uh, going for more drones, but is also aware that the Dark Templar could be coming in soon. Grabbing those uh, spore crawlers for the detection and to push away the uh, the warp prism if need be. More queens coming out, or queens in position, I should say. Uh, Layer's going to be finishing up as well, so he's going to be able to get a couple of overseers as well. I gotta say, I've been kind of enjoying Sunset's, uh, been enjoying Sunset's due diligence to this. My Dobro gets pushed back. Uh, oh, almost loses the Dark Templar. It takes. I imagine at this point, he's trying to get a little bit more work done. Uh-oh. Nope, you gotta go. You gotta go. You gotta go. Run. Run. All right, Warp Prism gets out. Uh, doesn't actually get the warp off. Oh, wow. Lots of drones coming out for Sunset now. He knows he's in a fantastic position. He's grabbing some upgrades for the roaches, and it's going to be cranking out more of those soon. And is also grabbing a fourth base, so he is feeling like he's in a very safe position. Dobro is going to try and go into uh, Archon Drop. Uh, it's going to be a little bit risky with the uh, condition of this Warp Prism here, but no, we'll, we'll see. Also grabbing his third base. He is going to, like, as long as he can keep this alive, he is going to have the map presence to keep uh, Sunset on his side of the map. So this is actually probably... Decent for Dobro, as long as he doesn't lose the Archons. Oh, this is risky. Dropping the Archons, just making sure which one has the uh, higher shield count. Knows which one to pay, to drop and pick up whenever he needs to. I do apologize. I thought the music... Uh, Not sure why the music is not playing. Well, you know, Blizzard's an indie company. Can't uh, can't expect for the music to always be working. It's a glitch. Are you serious? Oh my god. All right, Sunset's gonna be opening up. Uh, 
parts of his portion of the map. <laughs> Dobro's going to try and get something done here, but I don't think... Uh, Archons are scary, but I don't think they're that scary. Actually, really nice pickup there. Sunset continuing to uh, expand his presence out onto the field. We actually have a Spire on the way now for our Zerg player as well. Kind of just filling out that tech tree. Whatever he needs to get, he can get. Lots of overlords as well. You just you don't want to be a supply block at any point. You have it turned off for when I play and it was playing in-game music. Oh my man. Ah, interesting. Alright, so Sunset's actually going to try it. This is actually kind of a scary army coming out of Dobro here. These roaches definitely are not going to be enough to deal with it. Actually, Sunset was going for uh, a mutilisk transition to try and uh, get a little bit of harassment damage done. But that being said, this is actually... Oh, God. This actually is a really scary army coming out of Dobro. I was not paying attention to how complicated his army was getting. There are more roaches on the way, but this is just... <laughs> this is a roach-killing army. Like, th there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. This just will absolutely decimate a roach army. All right, the Archons are going to be coming in. Oh, does lose one of them. Soccer reinforcements are going to be coming in to reinforce, but the Immortals and Archons are just chewing these damn roaches apart. On the other side of the map, though, we do have uh, Mutalists. Well, they're picking away at the uh, Nexus currently. Okay, there we go. They're going after workers now. Uh, Dobro is actually taking out the third base of Sunset, and it's going to be pushing in further. There's not enough roaches to really defend against all this. They're all broken up and coming from different hatcheries. Meanwhile, on the other side of the map, it looks like uh, Sunset's actually going after pylons. Going to try and make sure that he cannot offensively warp in on him anymore. I don't even actually know. Is there is there a warp prism here? I can't tell. Uh, Dobro is actually pushing up the ramp now. Getting right on top of the main base of the Zerg player. This is going to be super terrifying. Is actually going to be able to cancel plus one for the flyer attacks. Oh, wow. He's actually going to be able to take out all of the tech now. The Mutalisk and Roaches on the other side of the map are also going to be doing the same, taking out this Cybernetics Core. No more uh, Stalkers are going to be hitting the field anytime soon. Um, there's still four Warp Gates that are active. Meanwhile, on the other side of the map, Dobro has taken out basically all of the tech. The, uh, the lair is now gone. Um, oh, wow. Sunset has essentially been sent back to the Stone Age. He got another uh, Mutalisk out while he could. But now this is kind of this is kind of a base trade now. Dobro's third base is going to be taken out by a handful of zerglings and roaches. Milos are going to be patrolling in the uh, remaining bases of Sunset. Oh no, they're actually going to go right back across. There are a couple of Dark Templar here that are going to be able to clean up some of these ground units, but there's only two of them, so there's not going to be too much that they can do. Dobro is continuing to clean up on the. South side of the map, knocking out that fifth base, I believe. I believe it was a fifth base. Sunset is going to be expanding all across the map to try and keep in this game while the base trade is occurring, making sure that he is never revealed at any point. Dobro is going to be moving back across to the eastern side of the map. These Mutalisk and Zerglings are just cleaning up all of the pylons. There are two more gateways that are powered here left. But that being said, Dobro is severely supply blocked, so he's not going to be able to warp anything in anytime soon. A couple of uh, probes here trying to get a little bit of damage done. Uh, Dark Templar as well, but unfortunately it is detected. Now this is not an army that can actually contest with, that can actually contest Dobro's army, unless he can take out the Archon. Uh, actually, yeah, the Archon gets taken out. There's no splash damage for these Mutalists, so it's not going to be down to numbers game versus of uh, Stalkers versus Mutalisk. Now, it looks like the uh, Roaches and Mutalisk are actually going to be able to take out all the Stalkers. There's going to be no... There's going to be no anti-air left for Dobro. Drones are being pulled to try and deal with the... Uh... Oh, my God. Mutalisk are actually going to be able to take out all the Stalkers. The uh, drones are going to be trying to take out the probes down here. 
The probes are defending for the, uh, oh my god, for the uh, immortals here. They're going to be warped back to the natural base. Um, Dobro is actually in rather dire straits. He's going to be able to morph in two more Archons. So he's going to have two more Archons. Uh, that should be more than enough to deal with these uh, Mutalisk, right? Yeah, Sunset is going to see that uh, two more Archons and two Immortals have now entered the fray. He's not going to be able to engage with these. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Almost catches them, but... Oh, he's going to go back in. He's going to try and get something done. That's... Oh, no! Nice little bit of micro there. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. Oh, Jesus Christ. I don't know if that's worth it for one Archon. Oh, boy. Um, Sunset, though. Sunset, what's your unit? What are your units like? Seven Zerglings and three Queens versus two Immortals, one Archon, and one Dark Templar. I Oh, there's 26 Immortalings on the way as well as a Roach Warren, but he's got to survive to that point. Dobro's actually pulled all of his workers. Uh, Sunset is mining, so Sunset should, in theory, be ahead. Oh, actually manages to clean up everything. Oh, man, Zerglings are just absolutely coming in clutch right now. There is one Dark Templar left. Actually, that's Dobro's last unit. He has two probes and one Dark Templar left. GG, well played is going to be called. What a game.